Use a 19 millimeter socket. Let's remove the lug nuts. Get to remove the wheel and set it aside. With the wheel removed, we'll go ahead and use a 21 millimeter socket on the nut. At this point here, I want to go ahead and work our two knuckle to strut bolts loose. I'm going to take those out. Before we pull these out completely, you want to grab something so we can go ahead and anchor our knuckle and brake system here so it just doesn't pull forward. I'm going to go ahead and use a punch on our lower bolt here. and work that bolt through. Go ahead and remove that. Use our punch on the upper bolt. Now at this point here, Go ahead and work our knuckle free. You might need a pry bar up here to go ahead and separate that. At this point here, our strut is free from the knuckle. Now that we have our strut free, we wanna go ahead and use a bungee cord or a strap of some sort. I want to go ahead and anchor this. We want to keep this knuckle from pulling away and adding premature pressure on our brake hose here. Now on the top, on the driver's side, we're gonna go ahead and remove these three nuts supporting our strut using a 15 millimeter socket. Before you remove the last nut here, we're gonna loosen it, but then we're gonna reach around the inside of the fender well and we're gonna hold that strut because once you remove this here, the strut's gonna to wanna to drop out. Now upon removal of the strut, it does have to go in a particular way. The bottom of the strut unit here where it attaches to the knuckle will be facing outward towards you. On the top, the upper bearing plate, you're gonna have on the top plate, there's gonna be two holes here with two studs and then your third stud here. Make sure that your upper bearing plate is lined up this way here so it fits in a place and then you can install the bottom into the knuckle. We're gonna go ahead and feed our strut up and get the studs lined up into the upper part of the body. Once we have that strut poking up through the top, we can go ahead and get a couple of these nuts started here to support that in place. Now we install our nuts up top and we wanna go ahead and leave those loose. The reason is we wanna go ahead and have a bit of mobility here to get our strut and our knuckle lined back up again. Go ahead and work those two together. I'm gonna go ahead and get our lower bolt started here. Once we have that lined up there, Go ahead and get our upper bolt lined up and go ahead and tap these in.
Once we have our bolts in there, go ahead and get the nut started. At this point here, we can go ahead and remove our securing strap. Let's go ahead and torque these bolts to 96 foot-pounds. Let's go ahead and snug down our upper strut nuts here. Let's go ahead and torque these down to 24 foot-pounds. And once you have your strut torqued down, you want to go ahead and install your wheel. At that point there, you want to bring it down to your local alignment shop and get that taken care of. Go ahead and grab your wheel and get that installed. Let's go ahead and get the lug nuts all started by hand. Once you have your lug nuts on, let's go ahead and snug those down. Go ahead and torque our lug nuts down to 100 foot-pounds. 